the century it was 2011. This, of course, <clears throat> is the iconic Machu Picchu, located in the high jungle of Peru. And this is my 62nd visit. All that we're going to be looking at today is the comparison between what the Inca achieved and what the Inca could not have achieved in terms of stone construction. Now this is the official entrance. You can see that it's very narrow and that was designed on purpose so that an attacking army could only enter single file. Now in front of you, you'll see a stark difference in construction technology. All of this relatively crude, but done with a certain level of finesse. And then this tower here called the Sun Temple, constructed without mortar, these ones constructed with mortar. This one clearly superior. Now what most guides will tell you is that the finer construction is called Imperial Inca and those were the great stonemasons and the rest of the work was done by okay stonemasons because the royal or imperial is where the royal Inca would be located and the rest would just be for common people but that's not the case. It's not as if there's a subtle difference in the construction technique. It is, as you have seen, literally night and day. You find very fine work, and right next to it, very inferior work. It's clear that somebody else first occupied Machu Picchu, did the megalithic work, and then thousands of years later, the Inca found the site and built their city around what they called a sacred megalithic core. Now the gaps you see in the megalithic work are all east to west and so it's not that seeds fell in there and gradually plants grew and pushed the stones apart. You're seeing evidence of cataclysmic damage, especially the three-sided building that never appears to have had a, a fourth side. The right-hand side has sunk down by two feet and a geologist that was with me here on a previous trip said that would be an earthquake uh, between 9 and 10 and there are no recorded major earthquakes during Inca times so she said the fact that that building was damaged that much that you had liquefaction of the right hand side means that if all of Machu Picchu was built at the same time the whole city would have been destroyed except the megalithic structures that tells us the megalithic is older Oh, 
So that is the meaning of the question. So, 62 trips to Machu Picchu? That's a lot. I always learn something. But at Hidden Inca Tours, we've decided to limit the number of visits to this majestic, monumental achievement to only a very limited number of trips per year. So if you're interested in joining, please check us out at hiddenincatours.com. Mm -hmm.